In the upper Gulf of California, we have the second highest or second largest tidal variation in the world, right? Well, it's way up there. Okay. Some people in Alaska would argue with us about whether we're second or third, but okay. well, in the top five, you can say top five, no doubt about it. We either get the bronze or the silver. Yeah, there you go. Um, and so you can have a difference of 23 feet in depth, up to 23 feet in depth, and sometimes it can go out for like two miles, right? Choya Bay goes out a couple miles. Here, here look how far out it is here. I mean, that pointing out there, what is that, a mile or two? Even here. At, at high tide, this will be water all the way out to the horizon. So, yeah. Yeah. So, the new moon and during the full moon is when you're going to have the greatest tidal variation. Right here. Yeah. Leslie, you are the Earth. Okay? I am the moon. Rachel is the sun. Okay? All right? And, uh, well, th and this is the this is the bulge of the ocean. Okay? okay. Well, you should have two bucks. Is it? Well, this will be okay. But you're the sun, you're the earth, I'm the moon. Is that right? All right. Imagine this configuration. It's a straight line. And if you're on the earth, if you're on, if you're you're on, on Leslie's Leslie shoulder, like this. and you're, and you're looking at the moon, what are you going to see? Which, which phase of the moon are you going to see? There's the sun, I'm the moon, you're on earth looking at me. What are you going to see? Full moon. Full moon. Well, the sunlight's shining all over me. And when we're in that alignment, that's when the tides are at their most extreme. Because my gravity is pulling on the ocean, it's pulling on the whole Earth. But the solid Earth isn't going to respond because it's solid, but the water is going to respond. So you get this bulge coming here and a counter bulge over there because the sun's gravity is pulling too, okay? And this is full moon. If we reverse, if we reverse this for a minute and Wesley becomes the moon and I'm the Earth, but Rachel is still the sun, if I'm on the Earth looking at the moon now with the sun back there, I'm going to see what? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, the moon's going to be completely dark. It's a new moon, but we're still in this straight line, so the tides are still going to be the spring tides. Right, but if Rick moves over here mm -hmm. during the quarter, and I'm not the moon again. Yeah, okay. he's still the moon. So if the, if the planets are at a right angle, you're not going to have that same type of gravity mm -hmm. pulling. Yeah, because yeah, mm -hmm. you're pulling the gravity, the moon, the water that way. I'm pulling it this way. They kind of cancel out. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so the neap tides are when you don't have any tidal variation. Here they call them mareas muertas. That means dead tides. And what do they call the, the spring tides? The spring tides they call mareas vivas, which means live tides. Um, and the other reason that they call it that is because out in the ocean, during the high tides or during the spring tides, you have a very the, the strength of the current is a lot stronger. So because of the because of the gravitational pull again, you have the currents um, that are really strong. <laughs> And so you have to be careful of that when you're when you're boating out there. And since most of Penasco is fisher fishermen, they have to know these things. And you can tell that the current. Look at this. I mean, it's just ripping right along there. So anyway, these tides influence everything around here. The fishing, the everything, and our excursions. That's why we're out here now. It's low tide. The spring tides in English. The spring refers not to the season of the year, but to the fact that the tides spring up and down. I don't know what neat means. Do you, do you know what